Welcome to Freedom Through Faith. Shalom Aleichem. We're here to learn a little bit more about Tefillah, prayer, from the book of advice by Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, section prayer, paragraph 27. The aspect of snake is pulling the person to pray for his own, um, for it to be useful for himself. Um, that the person will be selfish even if his mindset is to pray while being a believer, we mean. Like that it's written, Hav lanu chaye umzone. Give us food and living or any other things that will be useful for him. And the person should overpower that need that feeling in, within, inside, and to put his effort to have the merit to pray without no intention for the prayers to be useful for himself, just as if he is not part of the world at all. And by that he'll have the merit to enjoy the light that is hidden for the true righteous ones. So Rabbi Nachman is waking us up to that, that there is a yetzara, an evil inclination, that is dangerous for the person, not only when he is sinning, also a yatsara that is dressing itself and hiding himself inside mitzvot, that a person can be religious, orthodox, ultra-orthodox, ultra-all-orthodox max, and still to have a big yatsara inside of him that distracts him from the real purpose of our lives. Section 20. Eight, the Creator, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, desiring the prayers of the people of Israel. Why Ribbono Shalom is talking about the people of Israel? Because the souls of Israel enjoyed a certain mission that still um, that still um, we have not completed yet to be messengers of light to the whole wide world for all 70 nations to learn how to come closer to Hashem. Therefore, based on section 27 that we just learned, when the people of Israel will wake up to pray properly and not be selfish in their prayers, they will pray on the rest of the world and the redemption will take place. And when the people of Israel are praying in front of him, they're fulfilling his desire and he's receiving a pleasure from us. Section 29. When we're calling Hashem Barach, the Creator, in titles of flesh and bones in prayers and blessings, like to say on Him that He's strong and powerful and great, and He is available for us while we call Him, that is kindness and expression of kindness of Hashem Barach of the Creator, because if it would have not revealed the kindness of Hashem, the judgment, um, the midah of judgment, the attribute of judgment would, um, would provoke us for that, would attack us for that. It would not be the right thing for us to call Him Yitbarach, the Creator, in titles and praises and words and letters that belongs to human beings. But that is all an expression of His loving kindness. And from that the person should wake up and to be very excited in his prayer to remember the greatness of Hashem Yitbarach, the Creator, as much as he can sense with his own heart that he is for sure higher and greater, much more than all those praises and titles that we call him, just because that he loves us so much and he has a great compassion for us and his great grace on us. He gave us permission to call him in those titles and to pray for him, for us to have the ability to attach ourselves to him, Yitbarach. And therefore, we should at least the minimum when we pray to say those words and titles with a complete heart and with great intention with all our power all our might 
because we have the merit in his loving kindness and grace to call him in those titles. Beautiful, humbling information that makes the person realize the reality that surrounds us, that we got the ticket for an inner access to the highest, highest, highest place of them all. And for that, we need to be grateful and thankful. Everyone from the true commentaries of the Torah, before he starts to explain some aspect of the Torah, he needs first to pray in front of Hashem Barach to wake up the divine heart, that the heart will influence great, warm words as coals of fire on him. And then he will start to explain. Because then when you pray before, you pull explanation of Torah in great bounty from the divine heart. The person that is not praying before he is doing something in his life is expressing by that that he thinks that he's able to achieve and do that thing on his own. But like in the beginning of the whisper prayer that Filat Shmona Esre, the 18 blessings, were saying, Hashem Sfatai Tiftach, please Hashem open my lips, Upi Agid Tehilatecha, and my mouth will praise you. We're expressing by that our understanding that even to pray in front of Hashem, we're not able without His great grace. Thank you so much. May Hashem bless us all to rise and shine and to find our way serving Hashem from our center and from our deep inside that we will not follow people, just follow Hashem from within. Thank you. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are. Source of power from an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground, hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the Creator, Holy Soul inside, focus on the spiritual and you shall.